Welcome back. And today we're going to, going to be reading another Halloween book. And it is called Scaredy Cat Splat. And it's by Rob Scotton. Scaredy Cat Splat. Mom! cried Splat. There's a scary spider on my jack-o'-lantern. He's small and hairy with really funny eyes. Splat's voice wobbled with worry. But you're small with and hairy with really funny eyes, said his mom. Even the mouse looks worried. Splat thought for a moment. But I haven't got eight legs, he replied. If you had, may maybe you'd be a scary spider too, teased his mom. Splat made a scary face. Can you make a scary face like Splat's doing? Splat's mom caught the spider under a glass jar. Splat looked closely at the spider. It didn't look so scary now that it was trapped. Uh -oh, the spider looks worried. Can I take the spider to school for Halloween? Asked Splat. We've all made jack-o'-lanterns and everyone is dressing up in costumes. And Miss Wimpy Dimple is going to tell a ghost story. And there's a prize for the scariest cat. And I want to be the scariest cat. So please, can I take the spider to school? Please, he added, without taking a breath. Okay, said his mom. Where's your Halloween costume? asked his mom. Splat pulled a broom from the closet and sat astride it. Ah, look at me. I'm a scary witch's cat, cried Splat, racing around the kitchen. You certainly are scary, said his mom. Then disaster struck. Splat tripped over his tail and with a crack, the broom handle snapped in two. His scary witch hat, his scary witch's hat, hat costume was ruined. Now I've got nothing to wear, Splat groaned. Even Seymour couldn't console him. Splat's mom had an idea. She stuffed some old socks with scrunched up newspaper and tied them to Splat's to Splat with string. There, she said. Hmm. Splat looked in the mirror and jumped back with a squeal. Oh, I scared myself, he said. He looked again, and this time he smiled. Look at me, he cried, waving his sock legs. I'm a big, scary sock spider. Splat seems like he's happy now. Splat placed his jack-o'-lantern and spider on his wagon and set off to school. On the way, he met Spike dressed as a mummy and Plank dressed as a skeleton. They're pretty scary, said Splat. Seymour nodded and trembled a little. But I'm scarier, said Splat. Splat made the scariest face and growled. Grrr! Can you make a scary face like Splat's doing? I bet your scary face is scary. Spike and Plank didn't even blink. He doesn't look amused. Instead, ooh, I wonder what they're going to do. Boo! Cried Spike. Boo! Cried Plank. <gasps> think Splat might get scared. What do you think? Splat yelled and jumped in the air. Even Seymour did. And landed in a heap. Oh, Splat sighed. Spike and Plank are both scarier than me. Seymour nodded and trembled a little bit. 
I'll never win the prize for the scariest cat, said Splat. The sock spider, the skeleton, and the mummy continued on their way. They're going off to cat school. In class, everyone showed their jack-o'-lanterns. Splat's jack-o'-lantern made everyone laugh. Oh, Splat sighed. I'll never win the prize for the scariest cat. Seymour shook his head. So instead of being scared, everybody laughed. I bet Splat felt upset. Everyone placed flashlights in their jack-o'-lanterns, and Miss Wimpy Dimple turned down the lights and whispered in her best ghost story voice. In the dark, dark woods, there's a dark, dark house. In the dark, dark house, there's a dark, dark room. In the dark, dark room, there's a dark, dark box. And in the dark, dark box, there's a ghost. Miss Wimpy Dimple cried. The class jumped with fright. Splat was so startled, his tail wrapped around, wrapped, uh, whipped around and sent his jack-o'-lantern spinning through the air. And what goes up must come down. Splat! Unable to see anything, Splat stumbled around the classroom. Whoa! Everyone shrieked as the pumpkin head glared at them and made strange whoa-ing noises. Whoa! Miss Wimpy Dimple turned on the lights and lifted up the wayward jack-o'-lantern. The shrieking turned to laughter as Splat fell out. Bloop! Calm down, calm down, hushed Miss Wimple, Wimpy Dimple. Now, class, you should win. Who should win the prize for the scariest cat? Mmm, I think it's going to be Splat! They all cheered. Scariest cat. It was Splat! Thank you again for joining me for another book. And I'm so glad that you did. And I hope that you have a great Halloween. And I'll see you guys later.